Welcome to Games to the Table. I'm your host, Andrew Voice, and today we'll be looking at how to play Antidote, which in my opinion is one of the best group games I've seen hit the table in a long time. Today we will cover the rules for three to seven players. In Antidote, we are all scientists in a laboratory where a toxin has spilled. That toxin threatens to kill us unless we find the right antidote for it. Everyone will start with a large hand of cards and slowly trade and discard those cards to both gain information and get the right antidote. The game ends when all players have one card, and that is the antidote that they have to drink to see whether or not they survive the game. These are the seven toxins that take place in most games. You know that they're toxins because they say toxic on the bottom and they have an X on the card. During setup, these cards will be flipped upside down and one of them randomly removed, while the rest are shuffled back into the pile which will be dealt into hands. The toxin that was removed is the one that we are all poisoned with. These cards are the antidote cards. You know that because not only do they say antidote on them, they have a number on them as well. At the end of the game, you want to be sure to have an antidote that matches the removed toxin. This is your lab assistant. It not only provides you a reminder for what colors there are for toxins, it also reminds you of what actions you can take on your turn. Each turn, you take one of three actions. The first action is to force every player to discard a card. If a player discards an antidote card, they must set it on the table in front of them face up. If they discard a toxin card, they must place it on the table in front of them face down. Wait till everyone has selected their card and then discard at the same time. Your second option for your turn is to trade research. You can do this in one of two ways. The first is to ask a specific scientist to trade one card for one card. If they accept, then make the trade. It is possible, however, that they may decline a trade. If this happens, you may try to trade with another player or do a different action for your turn. The second option to trade research is to make the call that all players pass a card to either their right or the left, the active player's choice. In this example, each player is passing a card to the player on their right. The last option for your turn is to use a syringe. You can use a syringe in one of two ways. The first is to take a card from the table that's in front of any player, replacing it with the syringe. The syringe can be used on both toxins and antidotes. The second way you can use a syringe is to steal one card at random from any other player by taking a card from their hand and replacing it with the syringe. The game ends when all players are down to one card. At this point, players reveal which antidote they will be drinking, and then they're going to flip the toxin that was moved at the beginning of the game and find out who is right and who is dead. In the example shown, I was right and David died. It's possible for all players to live or for all players to die, but usually about a third of the people end up living having the right antidote. Players either gain or lose points based on the number on the face of the antidote card they're drinking at the end of the game. After three rounds, the player with the most points wins. Although I personally prefer a variant where you simply don't keep score, but only have the satisfaction of living or the agony of death to resolve the game. I hope this how to play is useful for you. Please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter at Games to the Table. Check the description for more information on some of my other projects and my own personal game designs. Let me know what games you want to see tutorials for so I can help you get those games to the table. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.